Hi, sixth graders. Today we're going to be learning about stem leaf plots. This might be a little bit of a review from, from last year, back in fifth grade, and I think you might have even seen this in fourth and third grade. But a little review can never hurt anybody. So let's take a look at a stem leaf plot. We're working with some data again. So your stems are all here to the left. Here's our stems, and right here it looks like the stems are our, our, our tens place, tens and hundreds place. Leaves are all in the ones place. This is how this works. If we have a zero in the um, tens place here, that means there's a five here and this is an eight. But what this means here is a one and a two, which would be 12. We'd have 13, 15, 17. Right here, this two and this zero actually equals 20, 20, 20, 25, 28. So there's a lot of data here. If you were to put all these numbers listed, it'd be a ton of numbers. So this stem leaf, is this another way to just organize data? So if I'm looking here, what is my smallest number? It's five. My biggest number isn't a nine here. It's actually this 10 and this seven, which equals 107. See how that works? This 10 right here would actually make this 102, 102, 102, 105, 107. So that's how this stem leaf looks. Let's take a look at another one here. Here are some scores for a freshman basketball team. Here are all the numbers, and then they're put on this graph. So where's 27 down here? It's right here at the 2, and then the 7. So it looks like we have another 27. Is there another 27 up here? There is. It's right here. The biggest number up here is 51. And look down here. This 5 and the 1 represents 51. So the smallest minimum number is 12. The maximum is 51. Which one's the mode? Seven's not our mode but 27 is our mode. Hmm. Here's another one. This one's a little easier. And it kind of just shows what it means. So here's the stem and the tens. Here's the leaves and the ones. And then this is what it means. This is 21. Look at 21. Two and two, 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 22, two, two, 22, two, five, 25, two, and eight. So 28. Every day, there are many earthquakes worldwide. Most are too small for people to notice. Scientists refer to the size of an earthquake as its magnitudes. Earthquakes are classified in categories from minor to great, depending on a magnitude. When I used to live in Japan, it's right on a border of plate tectonics. I would be in earthquakes. I think I experienced like a 7.2 one time. A lot of damage was happening. I was safe, but wow, that was really scary. Anyways, we're going to take a look at this data here on the next page, and we're going to make a stem leaf with it. Here are all the numbers. So where do you start when making a stem leaf? Looks like here the stems are ones now, not tens, and this is in tenths. So I have to find the smallest possible number up here. Looks like I have a 2.8, anything small, 2.0 is small. Anything smaller than a 2.0? It isn't, there, or there isn't. So on my stems here, I'm gonna put a two, then I'm gonna put a three, four, five, six. Extend this a little bit for some more space. Excuse my handwriting on the smart board. And now we're just going to simply go through here. If we want to kind of put them in order, it's just easier to look at. We have a 2.0, so that means 2, 0. Is there any 2.1s up here? There's not. Is there a 2.2? There is. Here's a 2.2 right here. 2 and 2. Is there any other 2.2s? Nope. I'm going to do this in real time so you kind of can see how long it actually takes. Is there a 2.3 on this board? There isn't 2.4, 2 2.5, 2.6 is right here, 2.7, 2.8, right there. It's so moving down to the threes. Any threes here? 3, 9, 3, 3. 3 0. So we got a 0 here. Any 3 1s? 3 2s? 3 3? 3 4? 3 5? 3 6? 3 7? 3 8? 3 9? No more 3s. Any 4.0s? Did I miss a 2.8? Now I see that 2.8. I did miss a 2.8. So I'm going to add a 2.8 to this number. See, that's why you go back and check. <laughs> Any fours, 4.0, 4.1 right here. Put a 1. 4.2, put a 2. 4. Another 4.2. 4.3. 4.4. 4.5. 4.6. 4.7. 4.8. 4.9. 4.10. 4.11. 4.12. 4.13. 4.14. 4.15. 4.16. 4.17. 4.18. 4.19. 4.20. 4.
4.5, 4.5 right here, 4.6, 4.7, there's two of those, 8, 8, 4.9, 4.10, 5.0, 5-1, 5-2, and then you have a 6-8. That is how you make a sim leaf. Smallest is going to be a 2.0. Oh, I can look at this data here. My largest is 6.8. So what's my range? I have to subtract those two. 8 minus 0 is 8. 6 minus 2 is 4. 4 4.8 is my range. Which one happens the very most? Looks like I've got two eights here. So I've got two eights here. A couple twos right there. So I have three modes. 2.8 is a mode. 4.2 is a mode. 4.8 is a mode. It's okay to have three modes. The median is the middle number. And this is where you have to kind of watch how I do this. So it's a little, it's a little tricky. As long as you have all your numbers in order, like I have from smallest to largest, you can cross off. So this 2.0, I'm going to cross this off with this 8. I'm going to cross this 2 off. I'm going to cross off my next highest number. Cross this 6 off. Cross off my 5.2. 2.8, I'm going to cross off with my next biggest number. This 2.8, crossing off with my 5 point or my 4.8. Here's my next smallest, my next biggest, 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 my next smallest, my next biggest. So I'm left with 4.1 as a median. Perfect. Let's keep moving on. So we got some practice. Remember, just like last time, you can have some scratch paper out. Go ahead and press pause and um, then press play to see how I do. But I want you to try and work these things out, see how you do. If this is really hard for you, we got to spend some time working on our math facts. Let's go through this. 6,400 divided by 80. Well, we can get rid of these zeros. So now we have 640 divided by 8. 8 can go into 64 eight times. I'm going to include this zero. We've got 80. Over here, we have 121,000 divided by 1,100. Get rid of two of these zeros from each problem. So now I've got 1,000. 210 divided by 11. How many times does 11 go into? 121, it goes in 11 times, and then remember the zero, boom. Moving on, we have 3 million divided by 6,000. Get rid of three zeros, get rid of three zeros. 3,000 divided by six, six goes into 35 times. I have two of these zeros left over. 500 is your answer from 3 million divided by 6,000. Moving on over here, I have 600,000 divided by 12,000. I'm taking away three zeros from each problem. 12 goes into 65 times. One zero left over. Now, just like always, I'm known to make a mistake or two, but hopefully Stim Leafs is just easy review, and, and maybe the hardest part of this whole lesson was this division here. And if that's the case, we have to really practice our math facts every night. Just do a little bit. Maybe just work on, make on your threes, then work on your fours. Work on your five, six, sevens, eights, and nines, and then math will be easy. Hopefully this helped. Good luck on your math lesson.